Good evening. All right. So these next awards are for fine arts, and I want you guys to understand that it's very important to keep fine arts. I know a lot of a lot of cities. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times, it's it's uh, you hear people saying, "Well, let's just get rid of the band. Well, let's just get rid of the choir. Well, let's just get rid of the orchestra." It's like, what? Come on, you guys need us. Yes. You guys can listen to music with us. What's wrong with you? Nice. No, but um, but yes, it's, it's really important, and I mean, studies have shown that the kids that are in music have the best, some of the best test scores, some of the best um, attitudes. They work the hardest. They work. They cooperate with each other really well, and just a whole lot of things. The whole I could stand here all night, but I won't. Okay. So these are just a few students who are really deserving of these awards. First, in the art department, we have an award for Sarah Eccles. Also, there's an award going out to Francis Thrush. <laughs> All right. uh, another young lady in the choir, we have uh, Mylene Flores. In the theater department, we have Elizabeth Lowry. For dance, Stephanie Morales. Also another dancer, Leslie Almagur. In the choir department, and this, this young man is also in band, and I know he's a wonderful, wonderful musician, and I know that he has really, really a breath, he's gonna have a breath feature in music, and he's gonna be just amazing. His name is Mark Tenorio. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Tenorio! that I can say that can play like a billion instruments and are very, very, very proficient at every single one of them. She is just amazing. She plays, when I got here, I saw her, I was like, okay, she's my French horn player, awesome. And then I heard her and I was like, all right, yes, thank you. And then I heard, I heard somebody, I walked in, I think one day I walked in the bathroom, I heard this amazing solo on the marimba and I was like, all right, I have a cool percussionist too. So I walk in there and there's Michelle playing the marimba. And I was like, what? And then I'm sitting in my office and I hear like Mozart or, or some, I don't, I don't know exactly what piece she was playing, but on the piano, just like, and I was like, geez, what, what, what else do you do? And then she played lead trumpet for the jazz band. You saw, you heard her uh, perform just a little while ago. And just, I don't know, she, she also sang in my jazz band. So, I mean, it just, just I'm a loss of words. It's just self-explanatory. Michelle Shaheen.
also this this next this next gentleman is just also also a very very amazing musician and he's just always working hard he's always trying to get do the best he can and uh him and him and michelle actually are going to be traveling to austin texas they qualified for state and they're going to be uh playing their solo in front of some some very hard judges but i always hear him practicing i come in the band room and i'm like i hear a saxophone i know who it is and he and he just done an amazing job this year and he's a great a great person he's gonna he also has a very very bright future in music if he chooses to stay if not he's got a very bright future either way because he's an awesome person this is kyle gurule One more round of applause for our fine arts students. And now I'm gonna call up Miss Claudia Rumpley. Are you still here, Claudia, to help me hand out the P and Health Awards? Unfortunately, uh, Coach McKillop is gonna be being recognized for PE. He's a good boy. That's all I know. You know this is honestly has down the best. He's, he's an awesome boy. You know, more more than anything, he's just an awesome person. I've been watching him, and he's just too nice. People, yeah.